Is the jumping necessary? By the way, I feel like. Yeah, okay, you know, back back when I used to play a lot of Brush in Splatoon 2, I used to always like jump in between my my spamming of ZR to to fire, which I don't think it's really necessary because if you ever get into trouble and someone's like right next to you and you want to back off, if you're mid midway into the air, you can't really back off, right? You gotta like stop firing, wait to land, then start to accelerate slowly. Whereas if you keep on the ground, once you're done firing. It goes back into the ink instantly, and then you can also do some strafe, like you know the the main strafing and sub strafing. It makes you go, it makes you start to swim in a direction faster. So that's maybe something to consider. You don't need to jump. Also, it might also lower your accuracy. Um, not that I think it, that it matters with the explosion, but just something to keep in mind. You're correct. It has killed me a few times. Yes. I, I've personally learned to stop doing it because you know. Okay, honestly, if you're gonna need more range as a brush player, just use your swab weapon. You've got a splat bomb. It's it's the best bomb. Just use your bomb if you need range. Because I also feel like, you know, if you press the like physically having the controller in your hand, if you press the B button every single time, whoa, it's uh, <laughs> being transparent and whatever. If you press the B button each time you wanna shoot then it's going to move your controller, right? So maybe like keeping your hands on both sticks and just firing while not jumping and just like aiming precisely and just firing at ZR instead of pressing B every time and then ZR maybe allows you to aim even better, actually. Unless you really need to have a slightly bit of height to hit behind a cover, but I don't feel like that's really necessary in most situations. Right? Like here, he wanted to fight that guy and he basically just stopped jumping at that moment just naturally to hit their their shots better explosion is probably a different story though jumping gives you a bit more of that juicy range does it because again splatoon is a, is a game that has like the range on weapons is not determined by the the arc right you, you can't arc them Jumping will not give you more distance on your arc because after the after the, your shot goes the max distance it can it just starts dropping down instantly um, So we can test this actually right now. Whoops new maps and modes um, So my theory currently is that if you jump it's just gonna like shoot from higher But then at the same range as it would have dropped down if you didn't jump That's where it's gonna drop down to it's just like if you want to get above cover I guess you can, but like the cover really needs to be a slightly bit higher than you, right? Otherwise, it's not gonna do anything. So let's test this uh, right now. Yes. Jumping out of ink is done to preserve a little more momentum instead of coming to a stop by tossing while standing. Yeah, okay, I get what you mean. But then that momentum is a commitment. Uh, but anyways, explosion, explosion test. So here is the explosion. Here is. The range of the explosion. Okay, no, that. Okay, let me let me find a better spot uh, here. Okay, range of the explosion. Mm-hmm. Jumping range. Exactly the same. Like literally zero difference. Uh, the only reason why you may want to use this is like, so let's say, because okay, here's the thing. If I do aim higher. See, it goes straight up and then whoop, it drops down instantly and that's what it does. So as long as it hit the maximum range, whoop, maximum range, boom, it drops down. Uh, so here's where that could be useful. The places where it can be useful is like, so if I aim high, right, it goes to max range, then it drops down, boom, instantly. So let's say I can hit directly forward here. It goes to max range, then boom, it drops down instantly. If I want to hit above this piece of cover, I have to whoop, go higher. So what it's gonna do is gonna go whoa, 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 max range, and then after it's hit max range, it's gonna drop down. But since the angle is like slightly higher, it's gonna drop down sooner. So as you can see here, my my normal shot hit further, and this one hit like slightly more like earlier. So here's how you can improve this: if you get here, and instead of like aiming higher, you just aim 
where you're gonna hit the cover, but just jump over it. Boom. There you, you saved yourself a tiny more bit of range, right? As you can see, it kind of caught up there. But really, it, it needs to be, like, if you want this to really be effective at all, you need to be, like, basically there, you see, where you're gonna hit on the other side. And then if I go there, and I jump, like, that's gonna save you so much more range, right? Like, look at this. This, this extra bit of range can be... Like, like if I stand there, I do not get hit. Wait, even if I stand there, right, I do not get hit by that shot. But if I stand in the same position for this one shot, I do get hit. So that's a huge factor if you are hitting a recover. But if you're not, it doesn't even matter. Like, that doesn't matter. It's the same. It's basically the same range. So that's a tip for you. Big tip. Um, what is the chat saying? The first mode, okay.